So my name is Fred Pico. I'm the Grand Lecturer from uh, the Grand Lodge of North Dakota. Um, greetings from Oswego Dale Sandstrom, our Grand Master, um, who, even though I get regular emails from <coughs> Brother Edward, he would also send me emails to make sure I got Brother Ed's emails. <laughs> uh, in North Dakota, the uh, Grand Lecturer is basically tasked with providing instruction in both ritual and Masonic education. In fact, in our in our uh, bylaws, it basically just says the Grand Lecturer is there to make sure the instruction is provided in the ritual. There's nothing in there that says anything about Masonic education. Um, so it's me. You know, so you hear about the DD uh, LOs and all that. It's me. So in some, in some respects, it's lonely. In some respects, it's great. Because uh, if I have a good working relationship with the Grand Master, and I have since I started this, you almost can write what you want to do uh, with, with uh, their, their blessing, of course. Um, so it does provide challenges, uh, but, uh, but it, it's, a, it's a good challenge. Uh, this past year, we continued more transition and progress in Masonic education uh, within the jurisdiction of North Dakota. Um, it had languished for several years, no festivals of instruction, nothing really coming out of the Grand Lodge uh, for Masonic education because uh, for manning issues or whatnot, they tasked the Deputy District Grand Masters with that, amongst all their other duties. And so that didn't get done. But there's been a revitalization uh, effort uh, with past Grand Masters to, to do that. So in, in 2018, uh, we revitalized uh, our festival of, of instruction program, um, and it was large. The Grand Master thought, hey, let's uh, get guys there on a weekend, like on a Saturday, and the kids are driving from all over the place in each district. Let's make sure it's long enough to, uh, to uh, uh, measure up to traveling an hour and a half, two hours to get there. So uh, we did that. It was like a four or five hour um, workshop on a Saturday. Um, and and that, that was good, getting out there, talking to the folks, seeing how different post lodges do things was good. Uh, this year, um, Most Worshipful Dale wanted to uh, cut down on the travel for a lot of our members and combine that with the district meetings. So the first half would be a district meeting, the second half would be our festival of instruction. Uh, so of course we had to cut down on how much we were going to present. Um, each festival of instruction was either uh, myself and was either uh, also uh, attended by the Grand Master or the Deputy District Grand Master. So the Grand Lodge was really uh, committed to showing up at these places. Um, we also started Grandview this year. Um, we're slowly getting in there, so hopefully, uh, especially after listening to a few of you guys talk, we'll use that to help in, in uh, electronic <coughs> outreach for Masonic construction. Um, by request uh, of the Grand Master, this year's theme was rekindling the fire of Freemasonry. And it was rekindling the fire of Freemasonry within you, not within like the institution. Um, discussion and uh, attendee participation was an <coughs> integral part. We always made sure that someone got to talk. And, you know, I'm from the East Coast, and I'm with a bunch of North Dakotans, so I say, hey, I talk fast. You know, and, and sometimes I'll stop, and that's when I hit a brick wall. And other times, don't be ashamed just to stop me, you know. And we had, we had good participation with that. And the goal was to make uh, attendees think and become energized uh, and revitalized about the craft. And it was hoped they bring that energy back to the lodge to help with retention and also to help bring uh, some brothers back uh, into the lodge that have left because uh, they bored or didn't see what the use was. Um, during that, uh, we talked about how to run an efficient meeting. That's part of, to me, Masonic education because everybody should know how to run an efficient meeting because nothing's going to kill a meeting quicker than unnecessary or extremely over elaborate business proceedings. Um, 
And, you know, and all the brothers should know that, so all the officers know that the brothers know that too. Um, we also talked about uh, an examination on the importance uh, of, of the purpose of ritual. What is ritual? What is the purpose? What are you trying to get out of it other than <coughs> is it just a box check? Or is there something specific that it's actually trying uh, to do? Um, and, and how we torpedo that through no malevolent action whatsoever, just trying to be more convenient. We, we torpedo ourselves with that. So we try to show the brothers uh, how that kind of works against them and, and what the real purpose of the ritual is. Um, reading versus memorizing. I know we talked about that. Which is better? Um, this question was posed to me uh, and I, I, I winged it and basically I kind of said not doing degrees at all or poorly done degrees is worse than the whole question of, well, should I, you know, can I read it or do I have to memorize it? Um, and I, I looked at the Grand Master when I said that and he was smiling still, so it was, it was a good answer. Because if, if you memorize it, but poorly, so you're there, you have now arrived at a place that, that's just as bad as going, you have now arrived at, both are bad, but at least if, if you can't memorize it because it's short notice and your lodge wants to try and step up and actually put on a degree that they haven't put on in years, practice reading it like you're in your senior high English class and Sister Hugo was there looking over you to make sure that you read it well. Um, that could be just as good, as long as, long as, as understanding is coming through to, to the candidates. Um, I don't have internet on my tablet here, so I had to use my phone, so that's why it keeps going off and I have to come back, uh, come back on here. Um, we also discussed uh, how one can apply the principles of masonry to affect change in people's lives. So, so you know the degrees, great. You know what the words mean in the degrees, great. Is there anything in masonry that tells you how to uh, run your life by Masonic principles? And one of the things I found just scrounging the internet, maybe some of you have, is the Grand Lodge of Massachusetts has these Ben Franklin Masonic videos. Okay? I, I started playing those last year, not this year, but last year, and that is one of the most requested sections that I put on, is playing those videos. Um, I've had past Grand Masters in tears, which the rest of the room loses it at the same time. I've had past Grand Masters request them. This year when we were talking about Masonic College for our annual communication, I thought I'd beat it with a dead horse, <coughs> so I didn't bother bringing it up. And, and when Grand Masters was asking me my input on, on what we were going to do for the Masonic College. Once I got done, he goes, what about those videos? You can play those videos too? I'm like, well, if you want, Grandmaster, I sure can. So those have been really instrumental, and that was just a happy accident. I was looking on the internet for some other Masonic thing, and I came upon that, and I went, my goodness, that does more about explaining Freemasonry to either a new guy or not a new guy than any lecture you'll sit. Um, also, uh, lastly, we endeavor to educate lodges that while staying within the approved ritual, uh, there were strategies that could be employed. So the functions aren't boring, repetitive. And uh, uh, this year the Grand Master um, saw too many poorly done rituals during one day classes. And after about two or three bad ones, he just said, we're not doing any more one-day classes for the rest of my year. That's it. It didn't take more than a week and a half before lodges started talking to each other. And when are you doing this? When are you doing that? And there are some lodges that haven't put on a degree in years because they've counted on coming to somebody else's lodge for the one-day class. Well, now they're doing that. Um, calling up guys. We One guy in my lodge does the stair lecture. Okay from 50, 60, 70, 90 miles around, they call them up and, and if it's something I can do too, 
we go out there and, and do it. So guys are visiting other lodges, um, which is which is fantastic. Um, and I think there's been more masonry done uh, because of that than than in, in previous years. We don't know what the next year is going to bring, but all I know is I've talked to a few masters of, of lodges that just got elected, and they said, "Yeah, we're not doing a one-day class this year. We're going to have a master mason degree, bar none." And we're going to have a celebration after that degree. Invite the ladies, formal wear, have a good old dinner, a big celebration, in which I think is what it should be. So a lot of revitalization going on, um, and I'm happy that uh, I, I, I enjoy a good working relationship with all the grandmasters that I've had so far, and that will bode well for them. So with respect, I submit that report.